are coming to check out Shamrock Liquors, which is located at 4300 Bel Air Road, Suite F. We're gonna go see what Randy is doing so we can see what he's brewing in the community. So we are here with Randy, the owner of Shamrock Liquor Store. We caught him while he was in his environment doing his thing. Yeah. So say hi, Randy. Let everybody know you who you are. Everybody? My name is Randy. I'm the owner of Shamrock Liquors. Okay. How long have you been an uh, owner of Shamrock Liquors? Uh, five years and running. Okay. February 1st made five years. I wanted to kick off Black History Month the right way. Okay. You feel me saying? Do something for us. You know what I mean? Black people. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. <laughs> yes. Get lit in the process. Get lit in the process. So what made you want to be an owner of a liquor store? Was this like a childhood dream, something you always wanted to do? So my childhood dream, I always say, because I got a lot of friends that own businesses, and like growing up, I done watched them do different things. So I'm like, well, just let me do something different, you know? When have you ever seen a black owned liquor store? Yeah, I haven't. You, I haven't. And then, so it's like, it's very rare. It's very, very rare. <laughs> and you're in Baltimore. And he is in and Baltimore, y'all. And in Baltimore. So, yes. like, owning a, black, owning a liquor store in Baltimore City, like, it's, it's I'm not going to say it's hard, okay. but it's hard to obtain that liquor license. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because, like, you, there's just so much stuff going on in mm -hmm. the city, and it's like, they really don't give black people the opportunity to okay. do stuff. So, I'm glad I was able to to grasp the opportunity and I just leap forward and I just went all in. <laughs> all right, I know that's right. So I always hear that um, we are treated differently. You know, people of color, we are treated differently in certain industries like owning hair stores, beauty supply, and different things like that. So is, do you notice a difference? Do you think like there's a difference towards, you know, African-American men and, you know, women trying to own a liquor store? Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a big difference because like I said, that liquor license is hard to obtain, it's very expensive. And it's like, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't have the right right capabilities to do so, then it won't get done. So thank God that I was able to yeah. move forward and sign that paper. Once I signed that paper, I was in here the same night. <laughs> so you just woke up one day and said, I want a liquor store. Uh, I was actually ready to do a barbershop. Okay. It's like, I don't know how to cut hair. Okay. So I started buying a lot of barbershop equipment, like chairs, lights, all type clippers and everything. But I don't know how to cut hair, okay. so it's like it was kind of hard for me to find a barber that's, that's willing to work for me. Mm -hmm. So I said, "Look, just let me try something else." Okay. Uh, a buddy of mine introduced me. He said, um, "Hey, listen, we can jump into real estate, or I got another buddy that's trying to start a liquor store." I said, "All right, well, I just get the liquor store because, like I said, there's no black-owned liquor yeah, store in Baltimore." Yeah, no, it's not. And because I, it seems like since I bought my liquor store, yeah. it's been a lot of people, other people buying bars and liquor stores as well. So I think I started it. I set the trend. Yeah, you yeah. set the he set the I set, tone. I set the trend. He set the pace. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you see anybody else in the liquor store and they black, you know they got me some Randy. Okay, you feel me? Randy is the man with the plan. A yeah. hundred grand. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play. <laughs> so how I know it's a liquor store, right? And you know we always have like like to have a good time when it comes to drinking. Mm -hmm. So this is probably gonna be like a little actually more wrong, you know, question. So how does your liquor store impact in a positive way? The right, community so, of Baltimore City. It's like our vibe here. When you come to share my liquors, it's like our vibe is totally different. It's like our customer service is better than Chick Fil A. Okay. It's like you come here, we're gonna show you the love. We're gonna you are friends. Customers are our friends. Mm -hmm. So it's like we look out. We look out for our friends. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all come here, y'all don't know what y'all want to drink. Trust me, we got something for you. Yeah. If you know what you're drinking, then I mean, we got what you want. Definitely. So it's they like, got everything. It's, a, it's, everything. it's definitely it's definitely positive right here, and it's like it's good. It's very good. How do you how do you feel um, with it being late at night? You know, with some of the crime and stuff that's associated with Baltimore. Um, how do you feel being in the city at night, owning a liquor store? Well, it's it's not. I'm from Baltimore. I'm from East Side. It's mm -hmm. like I've I ran all through all up and okay. down here growing up. So it's like I'm used to it, but it's mm -hmm. not it's not what you do, it's how, how you, you do, do it. it. Okay. So it's like, you know, you go in any other neighborhood, you got stores with crowds of people standing out front selling drugs and all that. Not here. Okay. Don't stand in my store. Don't stand out front of my store. Yeah. I don't care what you do, just respect me and I respect you. Okay. You know now how do people react, your customers, when they come in and they see that you're black? Um, they're like, oh, wow, y'all y'all black on? How are y'all really <laughs> black on? I'm like, yeah. well, and I'll let them know, hey, look, we've been black on for so-and-so, uh, X amount of years. I'm like, well, 
you should have been here by now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, and cause word of mouth goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And like we got Instagram, Shamrock underscore liquors. Shamrock underscore liquors. Shamrock underscore liquors. Make sure you follow us. Raffles, giveaways, all that good stuff. They we, do everything here. Everything. We find different ways to give back to our community. Okay. Like I'm, uh, for Fourth of July, I'm looking to have a cookout right out front. Okay. Bring the grill. Tell them. Tell them. Fourth of July, I'm looking to have a cookout here, right here at 4300 Bel Air Road, Sweet F. Okay. And everything's everything's on me. Okay. Everything's, everything going big, everything Randy. On big <laughs> Randy with the big bag. <laughs> <laughs> you, come, you come through. You feel me? Saying I might give out shots. You definitely gonna eat good. Okay. I mean, like my my man at Canada, she's she's an amazing chef. She always whips it up, and whatever she cooks is delicious. That's Guar awesome. Guaranteed. We're going to have to get her on here, too, one day. Shout out to her for the shout good out, food. Shout out to Kendra. Yes. Yeah, like. All right, so <laughs> with all of that being said, how is business actually owning the liquor store? Like, does it has, is, is it always recurring customers coming in? Do we have a slow moments? Like, what is that like? So it had the slow moments. Customers are always coming in. Like, liquor is essential. Okay. Like, that's why during the pandemic, they didn't say we have to close down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, pandemic, that was like a, that was like a good month. Yeah, it was a good month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, um, it's liquor always going to be around because like people have health conditions where though they need alcohol in order to survive. Yeah. And if if they don't have the alcohol, then you know they could, they could end up dying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like having a liquor store is good because yes, I see the same people every day, and I also see new people. And when I see new people, I get very excited, and I always try to ask them, "Hey, how did you hear about us?" Some people say, "Oh, I was just passing by, and I didn't." It, it looks it looks peaceful. Okay. So then they'll come in. I had other customers call me and say, "Hey, listen, it's a bunch of people out in the, out in the parking lot. I don't want to come in." Okay. And it's like, so they communicate. Your customers actually communicate commu with you. They communicate. Let you know what's they going on. They hit me on the DM for the customers that have my phone number. They they give me a call. Hey, listen. Hey, I'm trying to order this. I'm trying to order that. But I'm in a hurry. I got you. I'm gonna have it all ready for you. Just come in, swipe your card, pay me, cash, whatever. Yeah. And then you good. Like, I, I, take like care, I like that. I like, that. I like to take care of all my customers. And I want my customers to feel like they're they're home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 we're all we all can be friends. And yeah. like, I like to bond with my customers. Like seventy five percent of my customers I know by name. So That's when nice. they come in here and like we can sit and we can have a conversation, we talk about family, we talk about work, we talk about a lot, you know. And even sometimes depending on how I'm feeling, like you having a rough day, I might even offer you a shot. Yeah. And yeah. then we'll sit down, we can have a drink together. That's then, awesome. then we can talk about so it. So let people know that they not that you are never alone out here. Never alone out you here. Never alone out here. We all need somebody to lean on. We yeah. all need somebody to lean on. So how do time. you get through the the down now I don't want to say downfall, but how do you get through the dry spouts? Uh, it, with your business. With the, uh, so when stuff seems to slow down, then I push towards social media a little bit okay. more because I want to, I want to expand. I want to expand and let more people know. Because like I said, word of mouth goes a long way. Yeah. So it's like if I tell you something, mm -hmm. if I tell you a sale that I'm having, or I'm telling you a giveaway that I'm having, like you can say that to somebody else, and that somebody else can say something to three other people, mm -hmm. and then. Is is a chain effect, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's I think like, that's good too. It, it, it works out. It works out for everybody. Mm -hmm. But when it's slow, it's slow. I love when it's busy because yeah. time just flies. And it's just like anything else, right? Just like how anything else. so. How many days a week are you open? I'm open six days a week. Six days a week. Uh, from Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 12 midnight every night. Okay. And sometimes they get here earlier, like Monday mornings. I, my only off day is Sunday, so I really sleep. Yeah, like, okay. I really get my rest. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Mondays, I might be able to open up at 6 a.m. Okay. Like, that's the earliest I can open up. And sometimes it works because zombies be outside. They looking for their bed. They looking for their shot. Yeah, they want to start their day. Yeah. People on their way to work. I ain't snitching on nobody. <laughs> People on their way to, on their way to work, they want to take a little drink. Hey, yeah, that's your yeah, business. Yeah. I don't care. You feel me? Okay. Like, and they come through. Like I get my morning customers still got cold in the eye. They want to come in, come get a beer. Come on, I got you. I think you customer service is good because I know um, us as like African American businesses, we get a bad rap for our customer services. I tell people all the time, people will never forget how you've made them feel. Mm -hmm. And when you make somebody feel good, they'll give and spend every dollar mm -hmm. with you. They'll do anything. They'll support anything you're doing because it's like you know what they make me feel good. And like you mentioned, Chick Fil A. Chick-fil-A is like the one place that I go to where you could drop like $40 and not feel bad. And not that you feel bad, you just spent $40, $40 on, on Just because food. it's like, how you doing? So even when <laughs> I go to other places, I'm like, y'all don't treat me like 
Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, exactly. All right, so before we get out of here and get into the game, because we're going to play the game, so yeah, Baltimore, play the game. to see how, how Baltimore he really is, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. What are okay? <laughs> what are um, three things? <laughs> what, that's fine. What are three things that you would tell somebody that is looking to be an entrepreneur? Um, don't give up on your dreams. Okay. Like, if you make a plan and stick to it, don't try to stuff more eggs in a basket that you can handle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you got your focus on one thing, complete that focus. And just try to stick to your goal because it's like you know how black people are nowadays. It's like they'll start one thing but don't finish it. Mm -hmm. Just try to finish it and try to go all the way through with it. And if you need help, don't be afraid to ask somebody because pride pride is a lot. Yeah. Pride is a lot. And some people might not might say, oh, I don't want I don't want to ask for help. But sometimes you need help. Okay. You need to network. If you're not if you're not networking. Like you might not, you might not get ahead. Yeah, you might not get ahead. And, and I'm, just, I'm being completely honest. You need, you need a backbone. Yeah. You need a backbone. You need somebody that's going to push you when you feel like you want to give up. If nobody's going to push you, then you're going to give up because that's what you're telling yourself to do to yeah. give up. Okay. But if you got somebody on your side that's saying, "All right, listen, come on, let's do this. I got you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you out." Take that help. Okay. Take that help. The second question: How how important is having the support of your family and friends. How do you tell somebody to overcome if they feel like, you know, my family and friends are not supporting me? Don't worry about that. Don't okay. don't stress it. If, because what one person won't do, another person will. Okay. But you just have to network because you never know who you might bump elbows with. Yeah. Like you could bump elbows with a millionaire and not even know it. Because if you're not asking questions and getting to know a person, you will never know. You will never know if that person can, will be able to put you in a certain position okay. for you to win. Okay. You know? Look mm -hmm. at that. I, I'm, I'm loving the answers mm -hmm. and all that stuff here. And the last but not least, um, when they are adjusting, when someone is adjusting to changing their life, to go from the streets to doing something positive, when they might have hiccups, hurdles, getting told no. How do you tell them, you know, what would you tell them to get through that? To while get through being her, an trying to be an entrepreneur. If one, if one, when one door closed, another door will open. Okay. So it's like, it's, don't never, don't never knock yourself. You feel me? If I ever feel like that you can't do something. Because if there's a, if there's a way, you'll find it. Yeah. You just have to jump out there and, and um, yeah, just, just jump out there and just try something new. Okay. Because once you try something new, that could be, that new thing could be your next way. Yeah to get ahead. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is Randy, Shamrock mm -hmm. Liquors, the owner. Make sure you check him out. And I'm ready to get into this game and get some drinks and see how good he knows Baltimore. I know Baltimore a lot. I'm born and raised. We about to see. We about to see. You know, don't, don't, we gonna see. We gonna That's see. all I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Welcome back. All right, now we're about to get into the So So Baltimore to see how well Mr. Randy knows Baltimore. I know a lot. All right, let's see. <laughs> and remember, for everyone you get wrong, you got to take a shot. All right, so should we mix up the drinks first or afterwards? Uh, what y'all think? Should we mix them up first? What you think, Kendra? I think we should pour and go. Pour and go. Pour and go. Shots and cheers. Yes, man. We can, we're going to make, we gonna make no, this a whole vibe. No, but see, with the so-so Baltimore, you got to mix it. You All right, so tell us about this. You, you got to mix it. This is the so-so Baltimore kit. Okay. All right, this is so-so Baltimore, so we're going to be and doing this. the crab chips. So tell us what's in this kit. So all right, in this kit, it comes with the uh, Uts crab chips, a fruit punch Everfresh, uh, uh, a tea and lemon, a half and half Calypso, and with the... Baltimore's own La Boca. And La Boca is a black-owned tequila, right? Black-owned tequila. The guy, he's actually from Northeast Baltimore. Okay. And he went to uh, to Wim and he actually put it together himself. Okay. So he did it. He went over there, he did his thing. Yeah, right? yes, and yes. we actually the first liquor store in Maryland that that carried it. So, uh, funny story. I went to Atlanta for uh, for one of the little takeover weekends. Uh -huh. And I, he seen I was in Atlanta. He pulled up with me at the club. He said, yo, come outside. Okay. I want you to taste something. I came outside. I tasted this. I tasted the Blanco first. I had two shots. Oh, my God. It was good. It, it was, was good. It was fire. So I said, you know what? Hey, 
I'll be home in a couple of days. Just go ahead and send me two cases. And he kept his word. He kept his word. He kept his word. He kept his word. He so by the time I got home, the cases was already on the way. Okay. And you gotta keep your word out here. So we gotta so, keep your word out here. I'm glad you did that. And Honest you did your word. that. Cause right. we gonna say we about to get into some things. We gotta tap it. You gotta Go tap up. it. Boom, it's good boom. luck. Cause come I don't. Come Kendra. You gotta come tap it. You gotta come tap it. You gotta come tap it. I don't drink no bottle unless it's being tapped first. Oh, come on, producers, producers. Everybody got the tap. Everybody got the tap. Everybody got the tap. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so you can open that while I get the questions together. Yeah, you get the questions together so I can go to eight. So do you want to do easy or hard? Like, which, I'm going to let you pick your own poison. I'm going to let you pick uh, your poison. Let's go Let's go easy first. And then, okay. we, then we get down with the hard ones. All right, so with the first question, you're going to have to complete the entire sentence. Okay. okay. What do you get on your chicken box? What? Yes. Let's see. Salt, pepper, ketchup. All over everything. Oh, okay, you me? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna catch all over yes. everything. Spencer's curry out. You know, yes. get that, get a whole oh piece of fries for five dollars. Nobody know? has ever gotten that whole question. They're not from Baltimore. I mean, They're not official. You know the vibes. I'm official. Big brain, not a little one. Don't play over with them. Over everything. Over I everything. Get the fries over everything. <laughs> What's better, triple mix or half and half? Don't you ask me a simple question, a simple <laughs> question like that. <laughs> You know, the half and half is better, but you know, depend on what you're eating. The chocolate mix goes just right. Okay, chocolate mix, chocolate mix. Yeah. All right, all right. What singer statue is on Pennsylvania Avenue? Do, do, do. I'm an East Side baby, so I'm going to take that. <laughs> I'm going to go and take that shot. You know, baby. Take that shot. <laughs> hey, look, I got, I got that one wrong. You know, you know what? I'm not even going to try. It. <laughs> At least you are. It's okay. At least you are. I keep it real. All right, <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> Name five malls in Baltimore. Five malls in Baltimore. Yes. East Point Mall. Okay. Mall Dorman Mall. Okay. Security Square Mall. Okay. And I run the mill. That's not really Baltimore, because that's the county. So I'm gonna go and bring that back. Okay. Uh 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 uh. Cause you gotta pick your own poison. Okay. Uh, East Point Mall Dorman. Security. Okay. Uh, uh, fuck. I feel, <laughs> I feel like you kind of low key want to say it. I, 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 I'm not trying to say the wrong thing. I already said it wrong the mills, you feel what I'm saying? But that don't count. <laughs> My diamond, East Point, security. Uh huh. Ooh, it's looking like, uh, it's, it's, I feel uh, like. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Lex to the market, I ain't even fuck this wrong, but you can get everything down next to the market. Um, all right, so I got two wrong. Uh, so you, you you give it up? You quitting? I, I I give up. You quitting? What's the other two? You want to phone a friend or you want or you what you want to do? Phone a friend, manager. You get you got to name the last two malls, okay? That was the mall. And what's the last what's one? What's the last one? Uh, I, 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 I. Three, two. You know what I'm saying? So one. We used. To so what's the last one? White Marsh. Hey, White Marsh. Hey, you right, you right, you right. White Marsh. And, and that's the given. I should. That's county. So what's my It's Baltimore County. Okay, well, Run the Mills is Baltimore County. But, but, nobody answered. Columbia Mall yeah, is still in Maryland. You're from Baltimore County. <laughs> So come on, she gotta take the shot come with on, you. You gotta take the shot with me. See what happened? Well, you mind? Don't mind the business that pays you now. Come on. <laughs> oh. We slept on that. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> okay. it's okay. All right. Writing. Good. Good sport. She's a good sport. Mm -hmm. All right. Finish these lyrics, K Swift, if you don't mind. I don't know. Can we get freaky? That was case Swift? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Take that shot. Yeah, okay. Got that wrong. Okay, okay. Great job. Good sport. Good sport. I'll be drunk in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so name five popular Baltimore rappers. It's easy. Okay. East side baby. That's on his list. That's on his list. Young Moose. Okay. YD Tech. Uh-huh. Money Jake. No, he not. Roddy Rex. I'll give you that one. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Izzy. And uh -huh. Bad Hunter Izzy. And, uh, 
I'm gonna give you one more since you said Money Jake don't count. Yeah, yeah, he ain't on the list. Well, you know, we did a survey. We did a, oh, we got a survey. Okay. Well, but shit, you're getting I, them. You're getting I them. I gotta name somebody that's. Uh, they gotta be on the list, right? They gotta be on this list. Okay, so let's run it back. Young Moose. Uh huh. YG Tech. Roddy Rex. Oh, he not on there. Roddy, but go ahead, I'm gonna give you because we we gonna give him. We gonna give him Bear that Hunt, one. Uh, Bear Hunter Izzy. That's right. Um, Young Inky. You feel what I'm saying? But he's not. You feel what I'm saying? Up there, up there, but it is her. I, I do okay. like his music. And, uh, I'm gonna give, give you one more. Give you one more. Oh, uh, shit. I don't know how you forgetting this, these, these, these. This one. I'm me. I be in my own zone sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, because I get the name of all my homeboys that rap, and there's a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, speaking of rappers, y'all need anybody in studio time? We own the studio. I'm okay. on the studio. Okay. Okay. It's on Righteous Town, actually. All right. Great quality. I'm talking about the music sound like you on the radio. What's the name of the studio? It's called Sound Tech 410. Sound Tech 410. Get it right. Uh, all right, you ain't get all of them. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me, hold them. Give me, give me. Because I feel sorry. like, yeah, at this point, you procrastinating at this I point. I think I just want to get drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, all right, so. Well, uh, he's no longer with us. I'll give you his name. It's Lil Scooter. Lil Scooter. Yeah. Same, same, yeah, me, because he's no longer with us. Oh, right? but he's still in the bottom. Yeah, you right, you right. Uh, uh, um, uh, Scooter, and and uh, uh, who was it? Uh, Raymount, K Rock. It was not K Rock. Um, shit, I can't think of this. Yeah, okay, name. we just gonna. Yeah, go we gonna we gonna move we gonna on. go to the next so, uh, one. Y'all want me? You want me to take a shot? No, cause you okay. know I I, I, I I got I got majority of them. See, I'm I'm being nice today. I'm sparing you. No, don't spare okay. me. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, don't spare me. Okay. Who was the 48th mayor of Baltimore City? Brandon Scott. The 48th mayor oh, of shit. Baltimore City. Shilla Dixon. Yeah, okay, Dixon. okay. Yeah, Shilla Dixon. Shout out okay. to you. Yeah. Shout out to she you. She pulled up on me. Yeah, I seen her. I seen her. She shook her hand a couple of times. Okay, yeah. okay. And let's see. We're going to go to this last one for now before we get into trying the so so Baltimore. Mm -hmm. What are the names of, what are the former names of the Baltimore Arena? Do, do, do. Capital One Arena. Okay. Royal Farms Arena, because they just changed it. Okay. Uh, R Royal Farms, uh, National <laughs> Bohemian, no. <laughs> yeah, you just uh, making up, you're just making up stuff just at making this up point. Shit. <laughs> at this point, it's the, it's the La Boca. At it's, this point. All right, so, all right, Royal Farms Arena, uh -huh. Capital One Arena, and the Baltimore Arena. And what else? And, uh. One more. One more. One uh, more. It was one, because I used to go to the circus all the time when I was little. It, it, it was the Baltimore Arena. Uh huh. Uh, Gotta take that shot. Okay, so what the was The Baltimore that? Civic Center. Civic Center. That's what it was? Yeah. I thought it was somewhere yes, else. Yes, yes. Uh-huh, I'll take a shot take, to that. Take a shot. It's a double shot, so. <laughs> I'm getting saucy. <laughs> all right, join me. I feel like I'm getting drunk all by myself. Okay, well, right. well I'll take it. If you get this one right, I'll take it. But okay. I, I know you won't get this one wrong, so I'll take it either way. Mm. All right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how deep is the Inner Harbor? And how wide is it? Mm -mm. Come on, you. Come on, you got the guess. You got the guess. Yeah, I was about to guess, but I was trying to think out what I'm going to say. All right. Because I'll say some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, so how deep is it? Okay. When you, when you take a dive after you, five, how deep is it? In the Baltimore way? Harbor, I don't recommend taking a, taking a swim in the Maybe, harbor. But might get an infection. Might get an infection. You okay. might get scabies. You feel what I'm saying? Your skin you might know. fall off. You never don't know. swim in the harbor. My, no. Don't swim in the Baltimore Harbor. No, don't care what they say. I don't okay. Care what they say, what the news say, uh -huh. do not do it. <laughs> you know how many bodies they found in the harbor? <laughs> Absolutely. So you you gotta give us the answer. How deep is the harbor? Deep. Deep enough. Deep. <laughs> how many feet? Not deep enough because the bodies always sink back to the top. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this shot. You're gonna take this shot with me. <laughs> So the answer is the harbor for you guys. So you guys know the harbor is 50 feet deep and it's 700 feet wide. I never, I never knew that. <laughs> so we're going to take the shot together. Yes. Um, all right. Oh, that's good. It's good, ain't it? And you don't even need a chaser. You don't. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. 
That is really good. And the last one, the last one, we're going to do the last one. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. It's a song. You got to finish, finish it, right? Okay. Finish the lyrics and name the street, right? The last five streets. The last five from A, you knuckleheads. A, you knuckleheads. A, the last five. Last five. Well, I don't know the last five, but I know Biddle Street is one of them. Tatted on me. Born and raised. <laughs> Um, the last five. Come on, two, two. You know the last five. You gotta help I, me out. Your partner. Come on, okay. Help the me out. Five. The last, the, the last, last five. five uh, 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 streets from A. U. Knuckleheads. North and P. Funny, cause, White. Cause Lock, I, and, uh, can you gotta come over here. Yeah, come, come over here. Come over here with me. Come on. Come and, on. And I always find this one funny because I did the last five on purpose because everybody starts. Singing the, the, the beginning, beginning. <laughs> it, 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 it's never the end. It they the mumble, end. they always mumble the end. Yeah. You know what I'm so that's me. I'm a no. mumble rapper. I, no. I get the mumbling. Come on, come on. <laughs> but she, I, left, I don't, she left you hanging. She, she left you hanging. She definitely left me hanging because she probably don't know the beginning too, just like me. You feel what I'm saying? So come on, Ken, come take this shot with me. Come take this shot. Come on, Ken. So the last five with. streets is Bethel, Lafayette, North Bend, Warwick, and Rosedale. See, I wouldn't have got that. Yeah. Oh, half of that was West Side. Yeah, I was East Side, baby. I said that. Side, baby. Rose there was in the county. Like, that's not even, that's not even Baltimore City. No, Rose Look, look, yeah, look. He like, tags, me, tags on me right. <laughs> county police do their fucking job. You feel what I'm saying? County it's police do their job do all the time, and it's not going to be, they ain't going to get me. Yeah, okay. They won't get me. All right. And be you got, you got, oh, take shit. this cup. Yeah, he he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Yeah. Yes. You wanna take one with me? I'm, sure. Take I'm, I'm a team me. sport. Team sport. Team sport. Oh, I feel like you wanted to pull me a whole lot. I know that was about a that was a double shot yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, Boom, boom, boom. You feel me? Cheers to him yes. most of the questions right. Most, I got most of them right. Ooh. And before we go, tell the people about any programs that you have here for mm. purchasing things. Okay, so when you come to sharing my liquors, the more you come, the more we look out. Okay. So we got these Shamrock Rewards Pro uh Shamrock Rewards program. You can purchase a five dollar card or a ten dollar card. I got little slots right here. And whenever you come in you spend more than ten dollars, you get a sticker. Okay. When you get twenty stickers you get a free on a five dollar on a ten dollar card. You get a free fifth okay. or a free bottle of wine. I hold that one. You hold that one. And on a five dollar card, if you get what fifteen stickers or twenty stickers, same thing. Yeah. You get a free paint. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. You, know the vibes. you feel me? Like you get a free paint. Like I do a lot of giveaways, and I like I like to look out for my customers. The more you support me, the more I'm gonna support you. Absolutely. That's every what you time. Know. Like and, and I always say, follow us on Instagram at Sharemark underscore liquors. Because I post all our specials and all our new new inventory. Okay. So it's like whenever I get something new, I go straight to Instagram, and I post it because it's, it's Instagram. Y'all can share the share the video. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, people, be, more people can get to more it. More people gonna get into it, and it's like networking. I like I like to network a lot. Okay. You know what I'm because and what about um? You said you have a digital a digital program here. I as have well? a digital program here Tell as well. That. As seen on TV. Um, for a low fee, I promote your business for uh, uh, months as as per month. Mm -hmm. And then if you pay like if you pay for three months in advance, you know you get a you get a discount. And also, I'll advertise the business. Uh, I have a digital platform that, okay. that in three different in three different stores. Okay. So all day long, whenever the stores open, customers they're going to see your business. Okay. And it runs. All day. All day long. All right. So it's like if you want to if if, if you want to uh, give me a commercial for your talk show, okay. I can put it on there. So whenever customers um sitting in here waiting waiting in line, they gonna be looking at the screen. All right. And then oh shit, well, I, I want to do business with her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it. It's a, a jack good, of all trades. I'm man. a jack of all line. trades. You got a lot it, going. It on. goes it goes a long way because you never know who's gonna look at who's gonna look at your your uh your slide. You know what I'm saying? So. A millionaire might might walk in here and see your business yeah. on my screen, and if know. he like what he see, your contact information is already on the screen, so he might reach out to you. All so right. that might put you in a different position. 
Yeah, it's because you never know. Yeah, Elevate. Yeah, yeah, Elevate. So there you had it, folks. Shamrock Liquors, located at 4300 Bel Air Road, Sweet F. Six days a week. Come holla at your boy. Tell him we sent you the best of Baltimore. So, so it's only right that we bring you the best. And we will talk to you and see you next time.